In today's video, I wanna talk about something that we often don't hear about, and it often stops men from committing and taking it to the next level, meaning marriage. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, before I go any further, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and turn your notifications on. You know, drop me a comment. Let me know where you representing out of. A lot of men fail to realize that their dating budget it's not the same as a marriage budget, meaning you are the head of the family, you're paying the bills, you got the responsibility to be that provider. Man, oftentimes in this daytime and hour, men are very vain, very materialistic, and it comes at a price. You know, you have women wondering, man, why won't this man commit? He says we're, we're where our, everything in our relationship is good and I'm a good woman and I would make a good wife, but why is he not committing? And the simple question is, a lot of men don't have marriage in their budget. They don't have marriage in their budget. When you think about that, I want you to think about the modern man, you know, that likes to wear uh, expensive clothes, $300 shoes on his feet just to go to the grocery store, wants to drive a, a, a 7 Series Beamer, car note $1,300, wants to drive a, a, a Hellcat, wants the Scat Pack, wants the 392, wants the wide body, you know, wants to have the penny dropping bachelor pad. You got to think, your dating budget of just taking a woman out, getting some food, maybe going bowling or something like that, that's not the same as marrying a woman, all your bills increase, you know, you provide for her taking on uh, some additional, additional financial burden. This is why a lot of men don't commit to good women. And this is, I'm making this content so men can realize Man, you will go further, you know, living simple. You know, back before I was married, I had a, a, a small apartment. Didn't have no large apartment. The apartment was to be a roof over my head, not a spot to drop pennies. That's not what it was for, you know? Drove. Drove a basic vehicle. You know, vehicle that takes 887 octane, not premium, not mid-grade. Insurance for the vehicle, you know, low, because it's common. Ain't nothing wrong with living simple as a man and being able to fulfill your responsibilities. One thing about men that, that date a lot of women and they have the curb appeal, these men don't have marriage in the budget so what happens with every woman that they entertain? You know these men sleeping with these women. So these women think that they're gonna get an opportunity of marriage out of it and their body count goes up each time. I'm telling you men, scale it back. And it'll probably, it'll probably put you in front of a woman that's not materialistic. You'll have a woman that's simple. You know, you'll stop having to entertain these women. You 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 will have less of these women that want uh, $300 first dates. You'll be fine with a, uh, you know, I met my wife and the first place we went to was Wingstop. We had a lunch date. That was a, a, a $25 lunch date. One of the best dates I ever had, but I wasn't trying to go above and beyond my means. My wife knew that. 
I'm going to tell you, I'm a simple dude. You know, my wife's a simple woman. And because of living simplistic as a man, I had the room to grow and to progress into marriage. A lot of men don't because their mind is somewhere else. They become very vain and materialistic. And if you are riding around living your best life, penny pinching at the end of the month, marriage ain't even in your deck of cards. This is why a lot of women get pissed off and wreck their brain. You know, I just don't know. I had to leave. This man didn't want to commit. And the only thing these men doing is just uh, wasting these women's time. Wasting their time. You hoping, you know, uh, you're going to make money. But it don't never shake out. Only thing increasing as a man when you're living like that is your, your bills, your overhead. A lot of times, the income is not increasing. But since you got the, the best taste in everything, you might got all the swag, all the style. But what is it if you cannot to a woman fulfill the will of the Most High God that he intended for man and woman, but yet you want to sleep around and sex on all these women? Think about it. Post of the Yacht Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight. Wow.